Raquel. Um, welcome back to Recovery to Wellness, where survivors radiate badassery. It is currently April 19th, 2024, and um, I have been thinking about this video uh, for the last couple hours, um, either a combination of ruminating or planning it in a sense, and what I wanted to say, uh, because I have lots of feelings and words and thoughts. So. Welcome back to another video. I am planning for this to be 20 minutes long. I'm not entirely happy with how the shot is looking, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, I also decided to put on the fairy lights because um, I... Uh, I think I've simmered now, but I, I was feeling angry before, so I was like, maybe the lights will kind of, you know, soften the mood, soften the anger a little bit, you know, kind of mellow us out. I also play thunder sounds in the background, so, you know, it's kind of like a nice little, little, uh, release of catharsis, in a sense. Um, but anywho, we are gonna talk about Caria again. <laughs> We're just gonna... We're just gonna talk about Caria. One of the last videos I filmed um, and edited and put out was um, a Caria video, and I kind of talked about her situation or or the situation that was going on with her on her channel and her uh, day in the life sort of video on mental health and how problematic I thought it was and um, dangerous and damaging and um, unhelpful and um, kind of trauma dumpy and also like. Um, problematic in many different ways and really unhealthy and um, all of those things. So I kind of talked about that and then I kind of talked a little bit about, um, I did a preface, a preface before that of like 10-15 minutes of talking about what, you know, so my background is and like um, what a psych hospital is for and also then I did like 15 minutes at the end for like coping skills so it was a whole like a 40 minute video kind of thing. Um, but I got some great responses on that video, which I'm very appreciative of, and it's probably gonna make it sound, this video might make it sound like I'm not appreciative of that, which um, I do want to recognize and have space for, in a sense, that I think right now what's going on is I'm having a lot of comparison um, struggles, and so I think that's detrimental, of course, not only for myself, because I'm comparing myself to someone, someone else entirely, which is, like, not helpful, uh, it's not fair to me, it's not fair to them, all that jazz. Um, but into this video. So I never finished watching Caria's like day in the life video of depression because it barely had trigger warnings on it and it was the whole thing. I'm gonna do another, another video soon about um, let's talk about trigger warnings because it actually came from a book that I read. Um, and then I'm gonna pitch an idea to you guys which I've totally sold myself on but that's a different video. And um, I filmed like honestly like most of every day this past week, <laughs> like at like 10, 10 o'clock at night. Um, but it's been helpful. She made a couple Instagram posts, I guess. Um, I don't follow her anymore on Instagram, but I only saw like one briefly. And she talked about, well, she, she made like a post about, oh, she, she did like a trailer for her video um, and like how she wants to reach all these people and all this kind of stuff and blah, blah, whatever. And then um, she also did like a post where she um, got like a comment and like, I guess she got, <laughs> from what I heard from Allison and such, from what I heard on the Reddit a little bit about it, uh, she got really mad at and really like, offended by this one comment, which I really, I saw it and it was just more of an observation. Like, was it in her favor? Not necessarily, but it was pretty valid observation kind of thing. So like, but she got all like, oh, they were saying mean comments. And it's like, just because somebody doesn't agree with you doesn't necessarily mean like it's, you know, mean and stuff or, you know, can, uh, there's, there's definitely times when it can be kind of harsh and such too, but like, you know, take it for what it is and I don't know, that's just kind of for, for my purposes for what I'm going to talk about in this video. Um, I definitely started to feel angry and jealous. So this is now the first time that I've really felt like jealous of Caria because it's almost like, I guess part of it for me, I think, is like, like, she's in 
whether good or bad, healthy or unhealthy, she's like in a position where she is receiving a lot of attention online and like like says that she's appreciative of everybody who gives her praise and aspects but unappreciative of everybody who gives her criticism or constructive criticism or points out what they think about things or how they feel about things or things to that effect and like I guess I compare it to myself of how like I you know for the last four years I've been busting my ass and well maybe last four years but like in the last two years I have felt on my channel like I um, am talking to people like I'm no I, I no longer feel like I'm talking to the void it feels like I am talking and there are people who are responding or people who are supporting and people who are even like giving me like tips and stuff too like feedback and things like Raquel make this like, can you make, make the text like stand a little longer on the video or can you include like us sh like showing us the recipe like physically or something uh, like when I do adulting videos and stuff which I haven't done in a while so but um just like things like that like I've gotten a lot more feedback over the last couple of years and that's great and I and I I do appreciate it a lot and you know it's, I like I I think I think it's gonna be really interesting if I ever if my channel ever takes off um, and I'm sort of like riding the coattails of it, like how will that affect, like, you know, if I have so many messages that I want to respond to, but then also like juggling the 40 hour position and then also juggling like creativity and book stuff and like all this kind of stuff. I don't know necessarily how it all falls into place, but like I definitely would be down for like, if I get to a point where I get like a lot of comments and stuff, like maybe like make video responses or like video, like, you know, video sort of I guess video responses really yeah um, if I can like type it all out kind of thing um, but we're nowhere near that now anyway so we're good on that side but it is kind of like I guess it makes me feel like you know Caria is posting on the internet but only wanting a certain type of feedback which is not what the internet does the internet is everything is all of it in a sense and like for her to really put down and really actually kind of be critical of critical comments in a sense um is certainly an interesting dynamic but it's also really really i i think it's unfair and i think it's you know like like if you don't want people to respond to it, why are you putting it on the internet? And also, like, if you're looking for only a certain type of response and denying all these other responses, like, and experiences, like, I don't think you can really have all of one thing, in a sense. Like, the internet is a mixture of things. The, the internet, like, you know, in recovery and life and such, is a duality. Like, it's both good and bad, it's healthy and unhealthy, it's all these things, it's both of them, not just one. And I, I just feel like, like she, she's like, oh, I'm not, you know, she's kind of like, maybe lost her, because it's different when like, when you start out and, you, and you're, when, when like, it's like, you know, being a small channel as I am, I get like 30 views on something and how other people can be like oh I only got a thousand views I only got a thousand views on a video and it's like dude like that's huge like maybe maybe the comparison of that is is faulty and illogical in some aspects or at least not entirely valid in the sense that it's not really comparable but like because if you're used to getting like a million views and you're only getting a thousand then okay yeah but like also it's like I don't know like cherish have more gratitude for what what is had because it's not you know I, I think I think a, a lot of the time online once people make it they kind of forget or are not humbled by the fact that it how how it took them so much to get to that point I guess and so like yeah 
<laughs> that's just my point on that. But like, I guess I just feel like, I don't know. Like if I ever, if I ever get like, if I ever get like maybe 500 views on a video and I stay at 500 views, like that's still something worth celebrating and still something worth um, kind of being appreciative and grateful for because, you know, it is really hard when videos don't do super as well. And I also think too, part of the, um, part of something I've been reflecting on is like, how much can a video help? And I think part of that is minimization for me of like, well, can a video really, can a YouTube video really be helpful in a sense? But I think kind of like with, I think it depends on the content of the video. Like if it's a talking video, then that's maybe not as helpful. But if it's like telling a story or showing art or like having, you know, creativity with it, then that can be very impactful. Um, you know, just as can be helpful or unhelpful, healthy or unhealthy in a sense. And I think too, it's like kind of like with fan fiction, right? Like fan fiction can be really impactful and really like art just in general can be really impactful. So I think, I think it's almost counterproductive in a sense for me to view it like, well, how helpful can a YouTube video be? Video be? And in some regards, yes, but in other regards, it could be really impactful depending on the type of content, depending on how the story is told and what the intention is with the story and also the responsibility of telling that story in a sense too. So that's just something also that was coming up for me. Um, and I'm going to talk all about me because this is my channel and this, I, I am an expert only in my own lived experiences. So we're just going to focus on myself. Um, so yeah, and then I think... I had a few other points, I think. I think this is like the first time I'm really feeling like jealous, but also at the same time, I'm also able to be sort of logical about it too and be like, I don't want attention online by compromising my values. Um, because that's really important, because it's kind of like, is that attention worth it? And the way I think of it is that it's not. I'd rather, you know, even if it takes me longer to get up the hill, I'd rather, you know, go my own path and, you know, make it the way I do in a sense. Um, you know, like it might not ever get like, I may never be like a million subscriber channel, which is fine because I don't want to be. And I may never get like a million views, which is fine because I don't want that. <laughs> but like, if I got like, I don't know, like if it was like 500 views, like that'd be cool. Cause like I haven't really had, I've gotten like a couple, I've had a few videos that are like a hundred views or like one that's like a couple that are like 200 views and then I got like that weird makeup video that I did like last year that was like almost a thousand views. So I think part of the thing too that I don't always think about is how the internet is like a giant archive, a permanent archive in a sense. Um, and I think that's also something too that maybe Caria forgets often because um, she like posts things and then she deletes them after but it's like it's kind of I mean you're definitely damned if you do damned if you don't because if she kept it up then it would be problematic but if she takes it down then it's problematic because I guess it's like the whole thing with like kind of like the whole um, karma's a bitch song kind of coming out and stuff like that too like I guess you could erase it from the internet, but once people have seen it, and especially enough people have seen it, you can't really, I mean, you can gaslight them instead of being like, then that never happened, but like, how much weight does it really hold? Like, that's the question. Um, and then I think too, something that I've been reflecting on a little bit more is like the type of audience that I am trying to aim my contact content towards, and like, what does that mean? And like, kind of like, I think something I thought about um, this week has been like, I don't think I really want people who are mentally ill that are like early on in their recovery. Cause I, th I don't think, I, I don't, I mean, again, this goes back into the minimization, maximization kind of thing, because I feel like I don't think I can help you because it's a YouTube video. Um, I can share what like has helped me or like what, you know, chips and tricks help me and stuff like that. But I don't think, like a YouTube video would like, I almost want to say, I don't think it would make a difference, but I think it could depending on various factors. Um, like I don't think it's a one and done kind of thing. Um, 
again like if it's a storytelling kind of thing versus if it's just like a talking video um so the sort of content of it matters um i think something that also that i think is helpful is like you know sharing the message of you are not alone because i think when i when i say you are not alone that tells you not only tells you that you're not alone it reflects back to me and tells me that i'm not alone which tells you that you're not alone that tells me that i'm not alone and then it kind of goes like that like i think that um type of recipro reciproco recipro recipro reciprocalness uh it's like reciprocity i think it is but um that sort of reciprocal relationship can be helpful and then i think also too i don't really know at what point does the fan versus like influencer relationship come into play like is it when you hit a thousand subscribers is it when you hit a hundred thousand subscribers i i generally don't know what that answer is so i think overall um how i the way i was feeling um noticing that caria put out like a mini trailer for her video just to get more views and attention um and I don't know how well it's working to be honest because I haven't checked um, to see if her content has gone up at all but I guess it's just um, to me I find it um, frustrating and disheartening um, and a little jealousy but at the same time I don't want the scrutiny that she's under at the same time like I wouldn't want it for that reason and also like like jealous but not enough to like change what I'm doing to try to elicit a similar response response like I don't want to rage bait and stuff like that or I don't even want to clickbait even honestly um you know I'm kind of like kind of I think I am pretty authentic and I think that I'm kind of what you see is what you get kind of thing and I think like these are just my thoughts and feelings and I think there's a certain confidence I think in some of these carrier videos because it's like I'm asserting what I think and what I feel and um I don't think technically I don't think she's watching it anyway but um even if she did which I wouldn't want to hear from her anyway <laughs> but if she did like I don't think she could really be like well Raquel you don't actually feel that way because like you can't how can you how can you tell someone what they do or do not feel especially if I'm asserting that this is how I feel like I don't think there's much weight in that argument either like you can do it but like how much weight does it really hold probably not very much um and so so it's just a little bit of that now it's a little bit of that jealousy kind of thing because it's now but i'm not like i don't want to be her either like i don't want to be in her position and i do feel like for the last four years i felt more like if i am gonna get kind of more criticism or constructive criticism or critical viewpoints and stuff from my audience i think i can handle it i think i can handle it but then i've never had to handle it before either so i don't i don't necessarily know entirely how i would handle it but I think I would probably try to give it a few days, like, um, especially since I'm working 40 hours and stuff now, like, I'd have to probably let it simmer for a bit, try to see it from their point of view, try to ask questions, make sure I'm kind of understanding the, uh, tone well, um, and then kind of, like, give it my thought, like, give it, like, okay, give it some consideration and just kind of some understanding. I guess it would depend, too, like, it's not, it's not like when, um someone's like oh you're an idiot kind of like, like that's not constructive criticism kind of thing you're being idiotic could be a little bit more depending um there's different ways of nuances about it um but i, I really ultimately feel that like criticism comes from a point of like from a place of um i see what you're doing but i want you like you can be more like you have so much more potential and like this is what i think could help for you to be better and to to improve and grow um because if you think about it like criticism comes from like you know film reviews or book reviews and stuff like that and, like how like that person invested something in you in a sense and they maybe you're not living up to that expectation which granted like you know how important is that other person's expectation what are your expectations all this kind of stuff you know but like they're sharing a perspective with you and like i think that's a valuable thing especially when if your whole audience is giving you ass pats and stuff and giving you only praise i think it's i think it's brave to be a hand in the crowd and be like actually i have a different opinion and, and it's okay to have that 
um, those difficult conversations, it's okay to have those conversations in general. Because um, again, everybody has different life experiences and different things that they've gone through. Um, and it's, it's, it's almost more human to have more of a conversation. Um, I think definitely when it's brought on, if the topic is mental health, it's a little bit more of a vulnerability thing, it's a little bit more complicated. But if it's like a book review or like a art piece or, you know, there's always going to be some either, like not everybody is gonna like it and not everybody is gonna find you know, maybe value or inspiration out of it, and maybe that's okay in a sense. Maybe it's okay to face loss or adversity or rejection, and it's okay to accept that those things will come because we can't control other people, we can't control what they do, we can't control what they say, um, and just kind of coming at it from that will exist and this other stuff, this other more praise, you know, um, light and stuff like that will also exist and it doesn't cancel each other out necessarily it just kind of it is both it is and not but so that's my TED talk <laughs> so we're right on time for about 22 minutes or so so I I'm, I'm gonna leave the conversation there for now and um, let me know what you thought in the comments and what your ideas are and what your I, I've been meaning to do a post on reddit about um, constructive criticism versus criticism versus uh, hate um, so that's something I could totally do um, maybe move it up the ranks of time in a sense and um, yes I'm gonna go eat something and I'm going to journal a little bit maybe I have like legitimately I filmed I feel like I have filmed like five videos this week so I have to figure out which ones I'm gonna edit and which ones I'm gonna put on my computer and like go through the whole process and do the whole thing um, but many videos are in store and as always stay safe much love and light to you and um, let me know what you thought in the comments we can have a discussion um, I guess like there's always that thing like with criticism too like if it's respectful like I guess there there needs to be like an under underlying like position of respect in a sense but um, I uh, I guess it's not a given but just a thought anywho my foot has fallen asleep so I'm gonna go um, yeah thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna go practice some gratitude myself to uh, appreciate all the folks that are coming out of the woodwork. I don't know where you've been hiding this whole time, but I'm very honored and pleased that you are, if you are saying anything, um, that you are saying it in the comment section or over on Reddit or wherever it might be. Um, really appreciate it and I don't bite, so. <laughs> so yeah, thanks, bye. And I hope everybody has a good rest of their week. Guiding like a lighthouse to power